today we're going to be making this very simple gift tag or photo ornament. And these make an amazing last minute gift or gift add on. And I am working with some size four medium weight yarn. And you're also going to need a size G or six or four and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to begin with a magic circle. So take your tail and drape it over your working yarn and then pinch that intersection. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through our loop and then separate our loop out like this. Next, we're going to chain two and then place 12 double crochets inside of our magic circle. And it's important when you're working these that you're working in your loop as well as over your tail. Once you have your 12 double crochets, pull on your tail to tighten the gap in your magic circle. And from here, we want to skip our chain two and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And you do have the option of crocheting over your tail if you would like to. For our next row, we're going to chain two and then dive right back into our current stitch where we just placed a slip stitch. And we're going to place two double crochets there and in each stitch in our row for a total of 24 double crochets. And at the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch and your chain two and then place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. And for our next row, we're going to chain two and then place one double crochet back in our current stitch. And then we want to place two double crochets in our next stitch. And we're going to alternate between placing one and two double crochets going around our row until we get close to the end of our row. And I'll show you what we're going to do there.
when you get into these last two stitches of your row, I want you to just place one double crochet in each of them. So you should have a total of 35 double crochets when you get to the end of your row. From here, we're going to skip our slip stitch and our chain two, and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And for our next row, we're going to chain two, and then dive into the front loop only of our current stitch, and we're going to place one double crochet there. And the front loop is just the loop closest to you when you're looking at your stitch. And we're going to place one double crochet in the front loop only of our next four stitches so that we have a total of five double crochets in the front loop only. Once you have your five double crochets in the front loop, then you're just going to switch to placing double crochets under the full stitch. And we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row for a total of 35 double crochets. And when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch and your chain two, and then place a slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. From here, we're going to cut off our yarn. Then you're going to pull out your loop to tie off your yarn like this. And I am going to go ahead and hide my tail in the direction I was crocheting. And I know that this might be a little bit difficult to see, so I'm going to lighten this up for you. We're going to begin by attaching our next color to our crochet hook using a slip knot. Then we want to locate the stitches where we worked in the front loops only, and there should be five back loops left over right here. So we're going to slide our crochet hook into that first back loop only. And we're going to yarn over and pull through our loop and then yarn over and drop our two loops for a single crochet. 
and we want to place one single crochet in our next four back loops for a total of five single crochets. Then we want to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to skip our turning chain and then place one single crochet in each of these five stitches. And at the end of our row, rather than chaining one, I want you to just go ahead and turn your work. Then we're going to dive right back into our last stitch and place a single crochet. Then we're going to chain 15. Then we want to place one single crochet in our last single crochet of the row. And from here we're going to cut our yarn. And then pull it through to tie it off. Now I'm going to hide these two tails on the back side of my ornament. And we're going to attach our next color to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And we're going to start right here where we left off with our little ornament topper. And what we're going to do is fold this last row up so that we can access these posts. And we're going to be placing front post stitches here. So how we're going to place our first front post is we're going to hold on to our tail yarn over, and then insert our crochet hook between our double crochet stitches. And we want to capture two double crochets in our crochet hook like this. While you're still holding down your tail, you're going to yarn over and pull through your double crochet posts, and then you're going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time to complete your first stitch. And from here we're just going to work front post stitches around two double crochets at a time going around our row.
And when you make it around to your chain two, treat it like it is a double crochet. So work around the chain two, just like you would a double crochet. And so now when you get to the end of your row, we're going to slide our crochet hook into our first front post stitch and place a slip stitch there. And next we're going to cut our yarn and then pull our crochet hook out to tighten that knot. And I'm going to hide my tails going in opposite directions in and out of my last row of stitches. And when you're done with your photo ornament, it should look something like this. And I like to use these as gift tags because it sort of doubles as an additional gift for the person. If you're using it as a gift tag, then check out the links in the description because I will link to my blog post where I have printout PDFs of blank circles and then ones that have Merry Christmas inside. So you can print those out and slide them in your gift tag or photo ornaments. I do recommend printing them on cardstock though. Paper will crinkle when you go to insert it. And if you don't have a printer, but you have a wide mouth mason jar, you can use the inner lip of that. That's about the size that you need for this. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.